Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to take a very brief overview of what Monticello is and kind of a little bit of an introduction to how to just access other repositories. To get it started, let's go click on the desktop, bring up the Monticello browser, and if you look in here, let's expand this a bit, what it's going to show me is a bunch of known repositories, and these are the ones that this image knew about when it got fired up. So of course it knows about mine, which is going to be empty if I open it up because I haven't versioned anything. But I also have access to other repositories. Now you notice that one came up pretty fast. If I go here to say, I don't know, let's pick the Faro one here and open that repository. Notice this is going to take a bit longer, and the reason for that is that it's trying to read over HTTP. So it's got to go out to the network, bring stuff in from that remote repository, and then display it here on my desktop. And these are all the things that are in it. So you see this is your basic Faro system here. These are all the packages. These are all the categories of classes. So you can see that it's downloading information and will show me stuff down here. So that's a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to get into what this tool does at the moment, but just to show you how things are showing and get an idea of what's out there and available for you. So you can get any of these things and load them into your image. Another thing you can do is add repositories. And it gives you a couple of different options here. Let's say HTTP. It's going to tell me I want to give it a location, so you need to know the HTTP URL where it's based, and your username and password may or may not be needed for that. That's all information you would get from that repository owner. Once you've got that, you hit OK, and it's going to give you that repository definition. Of course, if you just want to set up a new one on your local hard drive, you just go down here to Directory with Subdirectories, and you would set one up and just pick where it's going to be located. And I'm going to cancel out of this again, but once I do, it'll give me another repository I can use. So I can have as many repositories locally or remotely as I like, and then I just version into the one that makes sense based on the project I'm working on and who I'm working with and all those kinds of things. This requires another whole screencast to go into actually how to use this code base and how to actually work with it to version code, but this kind of gives you an idea how to get started with it and how to look at the repositories that are out there and accessible to you and see how big a world it is in Faro and Squeak as far as what's available. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.